teased. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be reviewing the WWE Flashback Series Build-A-Figure J.J. Dillon Series exclusive to Walmart. We got the full basic series right here, guys. I went to my Walmart yesterday, and they had the full set, so I was completely excited to find these guys. We got Sting, Lex Luger, Ric Flair, and Booker freaking T. And I'm excited for this set. You know, I obviously didn't get to live through J.J. Dillon. You know, I, I was born in 96, and he was running through WC. W before that and even after that but I was too young obviously to remember that or even watch it on television but uh, I know who he is and it's such a cool thing that we're getting him in figure form I love the purple suit but we're going to build him up we're going to review all the basics here and we're going to put that man together and add him to the MDT collection so let's go ahead and rip these hoes out of their packaging we got to end this segment somehow so here we have the entire wave out of the packaging, guys, and I just, I, I can't stand the new basics, guys. These arms, I mean, my God, I don't know why it upsets me so much. I think it's just because I can't part swap now. The only way you can part swap is the heads and the knee pads. That's literally it, and maybe elbow pads if they come with it. Um, I will add, though, the head scans on all of these guys except for Sting over here. Ah! It's pretty much nice. I mean, I love the Ric Flair one. I think that's a brand new uh, head scan here. I think this is a brand new Booker T head scan. If it is the same one one we got with the Elite 46 Booker T, then um, then I'm crazy. I need to pick that figure up. I love this head skin so much. And if it's not the same, I want to buy that figure just to pop this head on there because uh, I love Booker T. I love this figure. And if I had to pick my favorite out of the set so far, I would say Ric Flair. Before we get into it, I think Ric Flair is my favorite. Then Booker T, then Sting, then Lex Luger. Lex Luger, he's just plain Jane, guys. But anyways, let's go ahead and take you through the series right here. We'll start off with Booker T. Um, and just look at this head skin. What a beautiful head skin. You got the nasal strip on there. I just think they've captured Booker T's classic WCW look really nicely there. Great flames going down the sides. We got like a maroonish red. We got black and yellow flames added to it. Got the hand tape on there. And then you have his BT boots on there looking great. And no articulation in the boots either. I mean the new, bo uh, the new basics guys. My god. Uh, Booker T does come with the head scan, so you got the J.J. Dillon head scan. It looks really nice if you consider his likeness. Maybe I can pull up a picture there so you guys can see. And he does come with uh, yellow sunglasses as well. And they are like a translucent type look, so we do get that. Next up, we do have Ric Flair, guys. What a beautiful looking figure. Look at that head scan right there. And he does come with his own accessory. Not only does he come with a Build-A-Figure part, but he comes with these like translucent looking purple shades. And um, if you can tell in the head scan right here, you you can actually plug the shades into his head scan and it looks freaking nice if I can get them in his freaking head. And that's probably as good as it's going to get, but look how nice that looks. A classic Ric Flair and the Four Horsemen tearing it up with the tie and the suit. I think he looks freaking sick. You know, he's styling and pro flying and private jet flying, whatever. And um, he comes with the Build-A-Figure legs for J.J. Dillon. You can tell they are like a purplish navy color. They're more of like a, I don't know, like a plumish purple sort of color. I really dig it a lot. Maybe I can get uh, Brad on commentary in a purple suit. I'm not sure yet. But that is Ric Flair. Next up, we do have Lex Luger, guys. Uh, you know, this is the same head scan we saw with his elites. I think he had, this is the only head scan he's ever had. Really plain Jane attire, black tights, white wrist tape, open black knee pads that I'll probably slide on a different figure, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, somebody like that because this guy's going to go in the crowd. We got white boots on there. He does come with the Build-A-Figure torso for J.J. Dillon, and you can see um, it's a purple jacket, same color as the pants, and a black tie with white shirt. And the last figure in the set is this Sting. And my God, guys, look at that head scan. Ah! It's the same head scan we saw with the Bash at the Beach Walmart exclusive three-pack with Hulk. No, not Hulk Hogan, you stupid moron idiot. It was Lex Luger, Sting, and Macho Man. And that figure looks just like this in the head scan, but it's different face paint. You know, he's got white wrist tape. He's got these black pants with a orange scorpion on the side for Sting. And then he has his signature boots, no articulation, and they are a nice color though. I like those. It's like the Cody Rhodes style and that pretty much, I mean my god, what just terrible basics here. But uh, he comes with the arms. So Sting comes with the purple arms for uh, J.J. Dillon and now that we've covered that guys, let's go ahead and build this man all together. So I guess we could start off with the central part of the torso. You know, the torso keeps all your other body parts together um, and I think this is his right arm. This is his right arm. So we'll take this and you just stick it in the hole right here. It plugs in just like that. You take his other arm, which is his left arm, and you plug that in right there. I think that, no. 
You plug that in right there. I think that's good now. It's in there. God, go in the hole. All right, guys, I finally got it in there. I actually discovered there was an extra little piece on the arm at the end. There was a piece of plastic, but good old trusty knife took care of that. Sliced that off, and now the arm won't come out at all. So that's really awesome. Uh, anyways, moving on, we do have the legs right here, and they pour it into the torso like so. You just push it on up in there, and it feels like this one puts uh, together a lot better than previous build figures This actually feels tight, and it doesn't feel like they're going to pop out at all so that's really cool I like that you know no uh, issues I think I had a Michael Cole build the fi build a figure that just like my god guys he was getting separated like Captain uh, Dan at the freaking waist all over the place but uh, next up we have the head scan should just pop on there just like so oh my god his head fell off and bam we have JJ Dillon all put together I mean my sick nasty farticles is that he looks great I mean his head's a little big but I think that's pretty accurate um, to be honest with you, I think his body mold should have been a little bit thicker, but I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm not too picky about it. Um, he does also come with his yellow shades that we can put on right now if they'll go on. Let's see if they'll go on the head. Oh, yeah, that, those fit freaking snug as hell. Those are nice. I like that. So now J.J. Dillon is complete, and, you know, he, he led the Four Horsemen. He was a manager. He was most known for being a manager of the Four Horsemen, you know, with Tully Blanchard, Arn Anderson, Ric Flair, and Barry Windham, and he also uh, managed Ole Anderson and Lex Luger for a time. So um, these guys look great. I am happy with the overall set. You know, the J.J. Dillon figure is probably my favorite part because of the purple suit. We can use it to make customs and stuff like that. But uh, not a bad set at all. I mean, if you're a flashback collector and you, you know, know who J.J. Dillon is, you like him, you like, you know, WCW, classic WCW, go pick up this set, Walmart exclusive, so don't forget that. But that pretty much does it for this set review, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I think I have a few more things coming today that I cannot wait for. And if they come today, I may put up a video today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, but... Uh Sold out's about to be finished, and it's going to be epic sauce. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.